Welcome to the second part of scenario based manual testing interview question and answer. In this video, we are going to see some important mobile application testing interview questions and few web application testing interview question and answer. So without wasting time, let's see the questions. So in this part, we are going to see uh, some questions like if you are testing a mobile application that has a search functionality, what test cases would you create for this scenario? The second question is, you are testing an e-commerce website checkout process. During testing, you encounter a scenario where a customer is unable to proceed to the payment step after entering their shipping details. How would you approach this issue? Then the third question is, you are testing a mobile application that crashes frequently when a specific feature is used. Describe the step you would take to in investigate and report this issue. So uh, if you are testing mobile application and you are encountering any issue which is happening in any feature, this question helps in analyzing how much in-depth of testing of mobile application you have done. So we will see the answer later. And the last question is, you are testing a web application that displays incorrect data on a particular page. How would you go about identifying the source of the data discrepancy? So these are the four questions that we are going to see. And uh, uh, let's start with our first question. You are testing a mobile app that has a search functionality. What test case would you create for this scenario? So the answer for this question would be, I will verify that user can enter search terms and get relevant results. Then another, uh, you can say test case is like verified that the search results are displayed in a clear and organized manner. Then the third point can be verify that users can filter such result based on a specific criteria. So if you want to uh, say, for example, search for shoes. So in that search for functionality, if it's an e-commerce app, then the result should be related to shoes only, right? And then the fourth point is verify that the search functionality supports different languages and character sets. So if um, I want to search in different languages and my app supports localization, then it should be able to search in different languages. Then verify that the app handles misspelled search terms and provides suggestion if applicable. So for example, I want to search for mobile and I am writing the spelling of mobile as M-O-B-I-L. Then it should be showing me the result based on uh, the misspelled keyword. So yeah, let's go to the verify that such functionality works seamlessly in offline mode if supported. So yeah, this is also very important that uh, the search functionality should work in offline mode if it is supported. Then there is another question. You are testing an e-commerce website checkout process. During testing, you encounter a scenario where a customer is unable to proceed to the payment step after a entering the shipping details, how would you approach this issue? So in this situation, I would first check if there are any error messages or notification displayed to the customer indicating the reason for the issue. Also, I would also like to verify if the shipping details are valid and meet the requir required criteria. They are all after I will also see if necessary, I would review the application logs to identify any relevant error messages or exception. Once the root code is identified, I would report the issue to the development team for further investigation. The third question is you are testing a mobile application that crashes frequently when you, when you use a specific feature. Describe the step you would take to investigate and report this issue. So this question is really very important and it help us identify the root cause of any issues I mean, why the application is crashing. So in order to investigate the uh, crashing issue, what we would do, I would first attempt to reproduce the problem by following the exact step that triggered the crash. I would also note down the operating system version, device, app version used during the testing. I would try to collect the crash logs or any other error messages displayed at the time of the crash. I would also like to check if the crash is reproducible on different devices or operating system version to determine if it is device specific. Once I have gathered sufficient information, I would like to document the step to reproduce that issue and provide all the relevant details in a bug report for the development team to analyze and fix. So yeah, without identifying the 
steps the device the operating system we cannot say that this crash is happening because of this reason we need to have a clear and concrete steps and operating system versions and mobile devices that we are going to reproduce the issue on then you are testing a web application that displays uh, this is the last question i guess that displays incorrect data on a particular page how would you go about identifying the source of data discrepancy so in order to identify the data discrepancy you analyze the expected data from the application requirement or design document also we can cross check the data displayed on the page with the data from the database or any other data sources involved check if any data transformation or calculation are performed before displaying the data on the page so this is important say for example you are doing any mathematical calculations or maybe uh, something any other data which is dependent on like uh, tax calculation or something like that so maybe because of points and decimals you can have mismatch in the data so that's why it's necessary to calculate these uh, calculations then analyze the data retrieval and processing mechanism used by the application to ensure accuracy if possible review the logs or backend system output related to the data retrieval process and compare the data displayed on the page with similar data displayed on other pages of the application like say for example you are testing mobile application and um, for android then you can check it on ios also if you are checking a mobile application then you can add try to see the data on web application if that similar page is having the same data, similar data for the same inputs or not so likewise you can try to map